What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Power Tool Playoffs. We are here with a very good episode where we're going to be putting all of these drills to the test. And I can promise you one thing, it's going to be very impactful. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna be putting all four of these impact drivers through a rigorous series of tests, very scientific, to determine which one comes out on top. And we have three top competitors here. We have the Milwaukee, the Makita, the Matabo, which I'm sure you're familiar with. But as a control subject, we also have this Populo drill that I got off of Amazon, it was $60. These are all in the same price range of about 150 to 200. So we're gonna see how this performs. Got great ratings, but um, honestly, it's probably a piece of junk. But I thought it'd be good to just test it against these high performers. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> all right, first up, ergonomics test. First up, Milwaukee. What's up, Catherine? You know the drill? Ah, uh, I haven't met him yet. Ah, hey, Nikita. Nice to meet you. I'm Anthony. Let's get to work. I like how it feels in the hand. Let's see how it works. I think this is that oil impulse soft impact. I'm impressed how quiet it is. Last that since we get in commentary? I wasn't really... What? Well, whatever. Was He's it? giving, like, good commentary. I wasn't really saying much. Is that a problem? Looks like this one is the Metabo, the triple hammer. Feels good. Feels solid. Mighty impressive. Well, you're not even switching the bits out. <laughs> Sorry. Third, we have the classic Milwaukee. Okay. I mean, it does really <laughs> drive a screw in. Last but not least. Probably least. Probably least. <laughs> the Amazon Populo. It looks cool. Let's see if it works cool. Yeah, this drill's not gonna make you any money on a job site. Well, that'll do it. What's up, bud? Hey, what's up? All right, Milwaukee first. Oh, powerful. It's got some juice. Nice, right? Okay. Okay, okay. You look like you know, you've been around the drill a few times. Yeah, I know the drill. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Very quiet. Okay. Populo. I'm honestly surprised that this was as Populo on Amazon. Right? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, what do you got? Uh, so, we've all had a little bit of a chance to test these out. Now, we'll, uh, let's all, you know, Could think be, about yeah. it for a second. And we'll come back, we'll give our scores, and we'll see how they stack up after just one round. All right, so after the first round, uh, let's all give our our rundown here. Did you set these up? No, I just okay. put, I just put them there so we can see them. 
This is actually my lineup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. I like the Metabo the best. Okay. Uh, I just liked, I like the feel of it. It's nice and lightweight. This was very powerful. I'm very excited to see mm -hmm. how this does in some of the future competitions. Sure. This, I loved how quiet it was. I was just not, I'm not sure how strong it's going to be. And sure. it was a little slower. The Populo. Not so popular. <laughs> not so popular. <laughs> So that's that's mine. And what do you got? So I have a little different, but I'm just gonna switch these two. The Metabo Triple Hammer is definitely a solid drill. I really was impressed by okay. it. Okay. The reason I switched these two is mainly for a true ergonomics of feel. And this, I don't even know why it's here. Because <laughs> it was sixty dollars on Amazon. That's it got true. thousands of good reviews. I, and I'm gonna give it one. Baby. It's very popular <laughs> online. <laughs> okay, Catherine, what did you have for your rundown? I actually have the exact same thing as Anthony. She I really, it. I like. That's what she's talking about. <laughs> I really like the Metabo. It surprised me. I like how light it is and compact, but it really did a good job. The Makita just quiet did a good job. I don't like how heavy this is. It just feels like... It should be noted you can use a smaller battery with this. This is just a larger 8 amp hour battery. So sure. Don't want right. to throw you off completely. But that's not what we're doing. But this is what we're do working with this now. This is what we're working with now. Whoa. Hey. It didn't, I, I just tested. didn't like the feel of it. It, did, it felt like out of balance. I don't like it. Okay. Populo. Participation award. <laughs> Participation award for the Populo. <laughs> and you had the Makita... Number, uh, two points. Okay, so after one round, we have Matabo, 12 points. We have Makita, second place, with eight points. Makita. Five. Third place, we have Milwaukee with seven points. And Populo, very good showing, three points so far, but on the scoreboard. All right, and break. Uh, drill. All right, so for our next round, round two here, we're gonna do a speed test on a 12 inch lag screw. Each drill is going to install the screw two times to get an average score at the speed of installation. Let's go. All right, what did we have? 18.68 seconds. Damn. All right, so since it takes a little bit longer than uh, we thought and this doesn't want to come out, we're going to do just one <laughs> screw per drill, and I think that is fine. So next up, Makita. Are you ready? I'm born ready. Send it. That's interesting. Incomplete. Okay. Incomplete. You ready? <clears throat> you Milwaukee. Ready? I've got high hopes for this one. Yeah. This one felt powerful. You ready with the time? Um, not yet. Okay, you let me know. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> What do we got? Nine seconds? <laughs> 12.98. 12.98. All right. And this one this one felt like it was not bogging down really at all. All right. And now Populo's got a chance. Populo's got a chance. As long as it Populo's in the race right now. Oh, yeah. And... It 
smells like it's gonna catch on fire really soon. <laughs> All right, what do we have there? 2474. Okay, I think we'll have to go. We got. We need a tape measure. It's a little, a little higher than two and seven eighths. Oh, Yo. we got a poppy win we here. Got a poppy win. We got a poppy win, and I think um, you can attest to the fact that I let them go till they stopped. Yes. I think if anything, the poppy could have gone a you tiny really bit more. Turn out of it. I was not ready for this. Now I can, I can see why this is so popular. <laughs> Okay, so after two rounds, we have still in the lead, just by the skin of their teeth, the Metabo. Metabo's got 12 plus 9. 21 points. We have Milwaukee in number two position, 19 points. We have Makita in third place with 11 points. And Populo coming up the rear. Really close there in last place with nine points. So, woo! It's a pretty impactful test. <laughs> what the? F what is one? Well, now for our next bit, we've got T30. So for this round, we're gonna go into that bracket tournament style challenge. And we're gonna do the first place drill versus the fourth place and the second versus the third. Two legs, three and five eighths inches each, and uh, we'll just do it head to head. Anthony, do you want to uh, be my assistant? I sure can. We're gonna do first versus fourth, and first we have the Metabo. You can do the Populo. And it's just head to head, so we don't need time here. And uh, Catherine, you wanna count us down? Yep. Are you gonna do three, two, one, go, or just three, two, one? I'm gonna do a Are we three... gonna go on three or go on go? I'm gonna do a three, two, one, go, and when I say go. Okay. We go. go? Yep. Okay. Alright, ready? Yep. Yep. Three, two, one, go! If you ain't first, you're last. If you ain't last, you're not first. No surprise there, we have the Metabo coming out on top, so that is gonna accelerate into the winner's bracket, and the Populo is going to, not surprisingly, go into the loser bracket. I mean, this one's gonna kinda be another no contest here. It's the uh, Milwaukee versus the Makita. Hand off the trigger. It's off. Three, Safe. three, two, one, go. Done. All right, so no surprise there again after the last test that the Milwaukee kind of dominated the Makita there. So Makita, uh oh, Makita's got to go against Poppy in round 3.2. And we have the Milwaukee versus the Matabo in the winner's bracket. So we'll do loser bracket first. Three, two, one, go. All right, that was such a close call, but we have now the Makita has secured that third place position and Populo fourth place. Final round, winner bracket. All right. On you, Kat, Catherine. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. You have a screw. All right, here you go. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Ooh. What do you think? <sighs> Should we give him a tie? <clears throat> I, yeah, give him a tie. We're gonna give him a tie. I don't. I don't want this. They both performed Very really well. well, really well, and I don't want. These minor little inconsistencies, which, you know, his was faster, and, mine was faster. And remember, whatever. when you're on the job site, you're not, this isn't happening. 
I mean, unless you're on our job site, it yeah. might happen sometimes. Yeah, you're always competing. You're always trying to get the screw in faster than the next guy. Yeah. Anyway. I don't. I get paid by the hour. It's not cool. We're going to do first time in Power Tool Playoff history. We're going to do no, a tie in this. Really? Yes. Wow. Yep, yep. As the commissioner this of Power history, Tool Playoffs. This is history, people. I'm going to declare this a tie. And we're going to have to go into the fourth round. Yeah. After three rounds, we have Metabo still in first place with 31 points. Milwaukee right, right there. there, right there. Right there. 29 points. Third place, pretty far back. Makita, 17 points. And Populo, Two. 11 points. Still a good effort. I mean, he's that guy. All right, so fourth round. Fourth round. Fourth round. Fourth round. Final round. Final round. Last test. The strength test with a five ace by eight inch lag screw. We'll see if they can even drive this in here because this is a really heavy duty screw. We're gonna start with the Populo. And uh, again, this is just going to be how deep does it drive this lag. So here goes nothing. I'm really afraid this is going to catch on fire. It does smell. It smells really bad. We'll see how you fare. I don't think very good. Alright, now we'll go with the Makita. What? No! Thanks for showing up, Mikita. Yeah, really. Next up, Matabo's in first place, so maybe I should go with the Milwaukee. Yeah, do Milwaukee. We'll do Milwaukee now, because this this could really this could sway it. That's good. This could really sway the whole thing. All right. That's it. That's it. All right, last one. This is for all the marbles here. Yeah, yeah. It all comes down to this. Fourth quarter, one yard line, no last timeouts. Ball. It's all or nothing. Okay. I think we know what we just witnessed. We did. We just witnessed a fourth quarter comeback by the Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Award the Milwaukee with 12 points. 12 points. Nine points for the Metabo. Again, the Populo not coming in last place. No. With six points, Makita, three points. All right, so after four, four rounds, rounds, the Power Tool playoffs, fourth place. No surprises here, but still, didn't get in last place no. in every single challenge. 17 points, Populo. Fourth place, valiant effort, my friend. Really good job. We salute you and all that you've done for us. I hope you find yourself in many DIY garages <laughs> and homeowners' basements. And you hang a million mirrors <laughs> and make a hundred welcome signs. Third place, Makita. Yeah, disappointed. Little disappointed in this. Um, I thought it would have more juice. I really did. Uh, the best thing I can say about it, probably the quiet. The quietest. 20 points, only three points above the Populo, and about Shock triple you. the price. All right, well, really, first time in Power Tool Playoffs history, we had a fourth quarter comeback with an absolutely spectacular performance on the Lag Screw Challenge. The Milwaukee got first place in that challenge, which catapulted it no. above the Metabo. No. Above the Metabo by one point. One we point? Have, yes, one point. We finished with the Milwaukee, 41 total points, Metabo, 40 points. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen the history of this show, but we've never had a comeback win. We've never had a comeback win, so, you know, it, hey, there's always first time for everything. Yeah. So. I would say at the end of the day, both of these, I was equally impressed For by sure. both of these. Um, this does have a huge battery on it right now, 
Um, so this one feels a little bit better, yeah. but you can use a smaller battery. This one is just an like eight amp hour, so it's gonna last longer. Small the head is. Small the head is, yeah. Um, but both, I think you can't go wrong with either of these. No. They worked great, and uh, I was very, very impressed with them. They both came to work. Yeah, so did we. So did we. I don't All know right. who worked harder, us or the drills. <laughs> I would probably say us. <laughs> yeah. I'm sore. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of the Power Tool Playoffs. Make your own decision. You know, we just present the facts as they are. You can make your own decision. But until next time, this has been Premier Outdoor Living.